Prof. Dominic, can you tell us what is water pinch analysis? Water pinch analysis is actually a systematic method where we can employ in order to design a water recovery system. When we say systematic, it means that whether I do it or you do it, anybody do it, the answer will be the same, right? It's a systematic approach where there is no magic show. You will get the same answer no matter who does the job. Okay, let me just show you with you in my slides here is a basic about water pinch analysis. In the first place, uh, if you are looking for a quick kill solution, this is one of those that you can look for. It address some of these uh, common industry problems, things for uh, how to save water, how to reduce waste, how to minimize water. These are some of the tricks that we can make use of water pinch analysis to address. Okay, uh, the slide show you some of the typical site issues. In water pinch, you can at least address the water issue. It was something developed back in the 1990s, uh, mid 1990s. Um, this in our overall framework, we call it process integration. Uh, the concept comes from heat exchange system, heat recovery system, down to mass, down to water. So, 1994, we saw the first paper produced in the literature about water pinch analysis. After 25 years of uh, development, this is already a very, very established method that we can find in textbook, encyclopedia, or uh, references a lot out there. Okay, the same principles uh, also apply to other domain such as uh, how to recycle nitrogen, solvent and how to plan for CO2 production. Okay. Uh, show you how a water system uh, takes place in the process plant. Usually when you have water coming into the plant, we have to treat them before we can use it in the operation and we also treat the water before we use it in utilities. So they are process water, they are utilities water. What we need to do is to find an optimal way of using them. Okay, you notice that in the operation, uh, one, two, and three, one, two, and three, we actually, originally, most of the processes use water once off. So we are looking for method that we can uh, perform to recycle them. When your process only have one unit that consume water and produce water, it's very simple. You know where you recycle water to, okay? The usage of water is quite, we call it a sink. When water is being produced in the coil of source. When you have only one sink, one source, you know where you can recycle to. 